Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, I'm going to give you your energy update for today. Don't forget, flip your roles, take what you need, leave what you don't need, and please use the spirit of discernment, okay, boys? Now, um, let me set my intentions and then I'll get started. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guides, for showing up and showing out. Protect us as we go through these portals to commune with you and close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you for using me as the messenger. And so it is. I like all this energy, y'all. Hold on one second. I got the third chakra card coming out in the upright position. The goddess of the moon. And all tied up in the reverse. Okay. So somebody definitely is on a different frequency. Let's just put it that way. This third chakra is all about your life force energy. I always be like, it's your vibe, okay? So something definitely had you thrown off energetically, but I do see that you may have went within, okay? If you didn't, you need to, all right? But um, somebody has gone within um, and got some downloads, okay? Massive downloads. And whatever the drama, whatever the conflict, like, it's ended, okay? Or it's coming to an end, all right? So don't forget, flip your roles, right? All right? Um, if it doesn't resonate, let it fly. Now, let's see. Show me what I need to see. Tell me about this message, this spread. Don't forget, you guys, hit the like button, subscribe button if you're feeling my vibe. Please use the spirit of discernment, y'all. Like, it ain't no game. Like, this is not a joke, okay? Because these messages are for entertainment purposes only, and they are collective. So, I could be pulling into anybody's message. But if you want a personal reading, definitely reach out to me because my website is in the detail box below this video. All right, y'all? <laughs> Tell me what I need to see for this friend. The tower. Yep. Somebody was having a massive tower moment. Like, I feel like this tower moment was involving a lot of strong emotions. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so a lot of sudden changes. I feel like, like, whatever could have been happening in your story or somebody else's, however it goes that's connected to you, is like, it just was sudden. You understand? It's just like came out of nowhere. All right. Um, but guess what? With this tower falling, it brought upon massive epiphanies, okay? So you may have got a revelation. You may have got, um, um, yeah, that epiphany, okay, about your situation and about a connection that you got with somebody because off the back, the two of cups comes out in a reverse. And the way I'm seeing it is like this connection became unbalanced or some type of disharmony between you and this person, okay? But... This tower moment had to happen, all right? So, or it is happening for a reason, all right? So, sorry, I heard some noise. <laughs> Y'all see me looking like, what the hell is that, right? But it's happening for a reason, okay? King of Swords comes out, all right? Now, this is masculine energy coming through. Doesn't have to be, but of course, um, it's ASI energy on top of that. So I do feel like it's masculine energy, but I feel like here, this tower has shown this person in your life. Let's just put it that way, right? What they need to take action on, basically like what they need to cut out, what they need to um, analyze, what they need to, you know, all of that stuff, articulate, like what they need to speak. Like, this is what this tower has done, okay? So, I feel like whatever was happening here in your situation, um, you're going to get the clarity. Let's just put it that way. And I feel like it's going to come from this person in some kind of way. If it doesn't come from this person, it's going to be revealed in some kind of way. But you're going to get the clarity about every single thing that's taking place. Like, I feel like your person here may begin to open up, okay? If they haven't already, they're going to open up. They're going to speak their truth. And um, um, it's definitely truth, okay? So if you feel like, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I should believe this, they are telling you the truth. 444 is on my timer, okay? Tell me about the all tied up card in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse next to the two of swords upright, right? 
because I feel like, um, well, maybe over the last couple of readings, I've been talking about the masculines not being able to make a decision. But with this, I'm feeling like now this masculine or these masculines or your person, however we want to say it, um, literally has been like looking at what they've been investing in, especially like if it comes to people, if it comes to situations, it's like they're looking at these um, investments and they're not seeing their efforts pay off, right? And they've been having a hard time making a decision about these folk. But now and again, with this King of Swords energy coming out, they know what to do. They already know who to cut out. They already they already are coming to the conclusion here of what needs to go. And it was all because of the tower moment, okay, that someone had. So like I said, whatever the conflict, whatever the drama, whatever the internal conflict, it could be um, that's coming to an end, okay? So best believe here your person or you is shifting that energy because they got that epiphany, okay? The revelation, that download, you know, spirit be talking, right? Um, damn, I don't know what card that was, but I'm gonna try to reach for it. <clears throat> yep, X. So, some of you could have been in, like I said, could have been in a separation or are in a separation, or this could be surrounding stopping certain patterns. Um, or somebody could have broke up with somebody, but I'm going to pull terror on that just to see. Give me another card or anything else. All right. Ooh, Cupid Tarot. Self-indulging. And the Cupid's arrow. Okay. So, I'm saying this several ways, right? So, say this is you, Virgo, and you ended up having to separate from your this person, right? It happens so that you can kind of like focus on yourself you get it so it's like you could go within as the goddess of the moon does okay to get the answers to get the clarity right so that you could heal an aspect of you all right so i'm definitely feeling like you could have been really triggered by whatever is happening in your story right but those triggers come for a reason they come to really show us what it is that we need to release and what we need to heal from um but this gives you the opportunity to really indulge in yourself to take care of yourself, to love on yourself, to um, focus on what it is you need to continue to evolve, basically. So look at this time apart from this person as just that. It's giving you the opportunity to level the fuck up, basically, okay? But don't worry and have faith. And that's what Cupid Arrow is talking about. Have faith. Don't worry, right? Whatever it is that you are looking for is coming, Remember when I spoke about it um, not too long ago where I said I feel like this masculine is going to be very transparent. They're going to tell you what's up. And they're going to be telling you the truth, okay? So, yeah, you're going to get an invitation or a meeting or something here that's going to come through, right? Because I feel like this person loves you, okay? And they know what they need to do in order to really fully be with you. So I do feel like this person is definitely going through some type of transformation or healing or something like this. I'm, I'm feeling like this is heavy on some twin flame energy. I feel heavy on like a, a soulmate connection, not a karmic connection. Okay. But have faith with this because again, it's going to be a surprise. Like it's going to come out of nowhere. It's like, say like they ghosting you or y'all not talking. There's no communication. And the next thing you know, they kind of like sliding back up in there. Okay. Um, as well so but it's a pattern it's a certain pattern that has to stop look yep ace of pentacles comes out it's a certain pattern that has to stop within your life and within this um and within your person's life here um so that you guys can fully come together without the drama for real without the hurt without the pain without the repeat cycles right so here yep fresh start with the ace of pentacles so the opportunity is coming in for you um, one that's going to be very prosperous, most definitely. Um, even if it's not off the bat, just know this is a big. This is the beginning. Like this is your your new walk or new step into a new beginning, right? So um, just enjoy, you know, and just let everything unfold because there's been a lot going on for you with the nine of wands, right? You've been having a lot of adversity, a lot of conflict, um, having to stand up against a lot, right? Um, and what I just heard is like the battle's been great. But however, it's been worth it, okay? Because this type of offer right here is huge, all right? So whatever the universe has for you or the divine has for you, 
expect some type of contentment, enjoyment, wealth, health. It could come in any form, okay? Something that will make you feel safe. You may have some challenges. You may be able to meet these challenges. Whatever it is, is going to be big, okay? And like I said, it's just the early stages of it, all right? So don't be disappointed, right? Caught up in the illusions if you're not seeing the manifestation happening right away, all right? But I do feel like you're going to get evidence and clues of it coming, all right? So um, I'm here in Kippa, of course. I know I'm kind of rushing through it a little bit, my bad, y'all. I got a lot going on, a lot on my plate tonight. I'm trying to do a few readings. Um, I didn't want to neglect you know, my collective readings for the night because I didn't really read yesterday, I don't think. I think I did maybe one live reading and that was it. So, so I'm trying to like work in between, like do collective, do personal, do <laughs> everything by deadline. One second. <clears throat> I'm at a high table, so my chair is high like a bar stool. <laughs> Show me what I need to see. When I drop stuff, ugh, wealthy man. Yep, and I, I'm seeing this person coming in like a king of pentacles, basically. That's what the wealthy man reminds me of. This definitely could be a man with money. Um, don't have to be. I feel like this is just a very secure man, a man who's, um, they ready to offer something serious. You know, it's like, this is the type of person that you want to be around, basically. This is the type of person that's going to look out for you long term on top of that, okay? Take care of you type thing. Community card comes out and the house card comes out. So, yeah, this is, it's, this is something here. I feel like they don't want to hide you no more. Oh. They may, I don't know who that's for, but they may, you may feel like you are their best kept secret. It's like they hide you. It's like they, they, they go out with you. They do things with you. But when it comes to like public acknowledgement, like they don't really like boast about you. They don't show you, you know, to, to only their close people is how I'm hearing it. Their close friends may know, but like, yeah, everybody else may not know that, hey, you two are directly connected in a more um, intimate way than just friends um, is what I just heard. But let me see something here with the community. I feel like, you know, this is all about the network, um, family, friends, people in the community celebrating, things like that. So let me see what it represents in Kipper. So, this is a very positive card. So, this card is literally meaning friends and community. It's about support. It's about being understood and finding the place where you belong. Since your community is always there for you, the timing of this card is ongoing. Connecting with family, relatives, and friends, and like-minded people and things like that. Okay, harmonious relationships. It's just really indicating having good people around you. And you are good people, okay? They want you around. They want you want to build a foundation with you. They want, what I just heard for some of you, like they want to live with you or move in with you or buy a house with you or what, however, right? Um, spend a lot of time with you. Tell me about this. Tell me about this wealthy man. Mm -hmm. High Priestess comes out and the Temperance in the reverse. So what I feel like here again, it's a lot of stuff that they keep to themselves. But they're getting tons of downloads. But the thing is, again, yep, they weren't balanced. This person was just not balanced internally. Here we go again with this King of Swords energy. Next to the Two of Swords coming out. All of that's being cut out. So... Where they couldn't make a decision, remaining stagnant, all over the place emotionally. Now they're recognizing here how to approach what they're feeling, okay? Um, from a more logical perspective is how I'm saying it. Show me about the community. Yep, Ten of Cups in the reverse position comes out. So they're very 
very disappointed all right um because you know it's like you be wanting your ultimate happiness happiness you don't want the discord right you don't want the disunity within your family or your friends or, or your community however right this doesn't make this person happy or even with you okay because it's like it's, it goes against their values um so i do see them yeah coming to grips with a lot of things especially about themselves and so all of their patterns and, and their behaviors, they're recognizing and they're beginning to cut those patterns and behaviors out. They will be definitely doing it. I'm, I'm definitely hearing it definitely. Like this is a person um, that I'm referencing who is going through a massive transformation. They're healing. Okay. Um, let me see something here. Yeah, their ultimate happiness is to have family. Okay, um, the judgment card comes out. So I feel like they're making some type of judgment call. And again, getting that epiphany or that realization. Tell me about this judgment card. Yep, nine of cups. When it comes to what makes them happy. Ooh. That's what it is. Everything is transpiring so that your person here can understand what it is that really makes them happy. And I feel like they're coming to this realization of what that is, okay? And why they're never satisfied. They're recognizing here is ego. It could be greed. It could be overindulgence. Um, overindulging. It could be um, massive things. Just being disappointed, you know? A lot of conflict, disharmony. Yep, hermit card comes in the reverse position. Them not following their own um, intuition. So they're recognizing all of these things. And, and that's what the universe wanted to, them to come to the conclusion of. Hey, what is it that's going to make you happy? What really does make you happy? What is it that you want? Because I feel like this is a person who seeks um, external validation. Like, it's like their happiness is there. And if... They're not exactly for, uh, feeling fulfilled, then guess what? They're jumping to the next thing because they, they're missing the, the uh, key component, which is internal happiness, right? Like you cannot find this type of happiness outside of you. And I feel like this person is understanding that now, okay? Let me walk the house. Mm -hmm. Eight of Cups came out reverse. Yeah. And this all took place. <laughs> they may have been in their house or somewhere in their, in their house, right? That's how I'm seeing it. Um, may have completely just been like shut, shutting themselves off from people. Uh, just doing what they, they got to do, right? It's like, I got to go to work. I'm going to do that. But otherwise, this is this is somebody that may have been, like, isolating themselves, okay? Um, and at this point, being very defensive is how I'm seeing it. But they were being very defensive because of the simple fact of certain regrets, um, certain triggers is also what I'm hearing. I feel like this is somebody who could have been feeling extremely lost with that Eight of Cups in the reverse next to the Four of Pentacles coming out reverse position. So guess what? Now this person is releasing this. Whatever it is that's unstable, whatever they're holding on to, um, I feel like they're trying to gain some type of control or power over their situation, um, making better choices, you know? And even if this is about money, it's like, okay, I need to save money. I need to, you know, stop being so, you know, greedy or doing things in excess, okay? But however, I feel like it's all about a pattern still. It's like releasing that unhealthy pattern, that key component to why this masculine was not successful, you know, or achieving anything or evolving um, in their journey. OK, but yeah, here with that six of wands, I do feel like um, they're making significant progress. I'm definitely going with that. OK, coming out as that wealthy man, that's that king of pentacles energy coming in. Too many cards. 
One second, y'all. <laughs> this ring symbolizes so much y'all it's really we know the ring symbolizes some type of commitment right and i feel like this person is now ready to commit like things are coming full circle it's either they're ready or they're getting ready to move to the next phase in y'all story okay i feel like this is a major on commitment to themselves on top of that i just seen 21 11 um commitment being committed to just completing something okay now it says the act of giving rings is usually like a contract all right but it could be marriage um it could be uh, secret societies, military situations. Because, um, you know, the ring goes back. is used for a lot of things. They could have been talking about purchasing a ring um, for themselves, maybe, even. All right? But it's not like, it's like marrying yourself, right? Being committed to yourself is how I'm hearing it. Um, but this is a positive outcome to some type of proposal, some type of merger, contract, union cycles like i said agreements but let's go and pull all right because i don't want you to jump to the conclusion and be like oh shit nigga they asked me to bury them <laughs> you know what i'm saying and then enjoy you know you sitting in the bed looking for that and it literally could be could be some type of other contract or commitment so tell me about this running ring yeah six of pentacles and the four of wands came in the reverse, but it's still not that bad in the reverse, right? I feel like this is something here that could have been um, overlooked at one point. So when it comes to you and them, um, I ain't going to necessarily say, I feel like for some of you, they may have been overlooking you. Like you were the blessing the whole time. Let's just put it that way. And they didn't give to you. They may have breadcrumbed you. They may have put you in third-party situations, whatever it is, right? You guys just didn't have one of those stable foundations. It feels so much more like a situation type um, ship, right? But, um, but when it comes to this, it's like this is a person that wants to be able to equally give to you, okay? Hmm. Tell me more about the six of pentacles. feel like your person here could definitely be recognizing that they've been given into the wrong situations yep the queen of swords reverse comes out eight of pentacles they've been given to the wrong people this is a person that even could have proposed to someone else before and it definitely was um not a balanced situation it's a karmic energy they really were putting in their effort. They were really working on this, really concentrating and trying to be diligent at having this type of relationship. And of course, it wasn't fair. It wasn't a fair power dynamics. Because as you can see, this is a queen of swords reverse. Um, your person here or you come in as a king of swords. Uh, right, okay. Tell me about this eight of pentacles. Yep, higher font in a reverse position. And guess what? This is why... Your person here wasn't trying to conform to the norm, which is what? Hey, you date, you get married, <laughs> however, you get engaged, they weren't doing it. You were stuck up in a friendship, situationship, you know, however, with this person because they didn't want to commit, all right? They didn't want to follow um, tradition. 
because they already worked on that before. They already tried that several times and it always was unstable. It always wasn't fair. <laughs> Guess what? Temperance card, Sagittarius energy. The world card, King of Wands, fire sign energy, right? We got fire signs, say, um, both um, fire signs. We got um, air sign on the board, most definitely. That's been coming out heavy through the reading. And it's like now, like I said, I feel like this masculine energy is now reconciling whatever the differences is that they have with themselves. They're bringing that balance to themselves, which is bringing harmony between you two so that they can begin to fulfill their original plan, which is to achieve this milestone, okay? Marriage. This is a person here with the King of Wands energy that knows what they want, right? This is somebody who's openly going to be communicating. Um, they're going to step in this position, this leadership position. They're going to be honest. They're inspired. Their vision is clear, and they're taking action. This King of Wands, this Knight of um, King of Swords energy, they coming in. <laughs> you understand? Cutting out, eliminating the BS, and going towards their goals. The world. Things are coming full circle. You guys are getting ready to open a whole new chapter in your book, Virgo. Welcome to this new beginning, honey. All right, it'd be great, right? Because we'd be getting new beginnings like every cycle. We'd be like, all right, you're going to get a new beginning. We'll be like, yes, okay. You ain't waiting for years now. You know what I'm saying? We're now evolving. 801 on my timer. We're now evolving so that our processes and our phases and cycles are moving swiftly. All we have to do is do what? Just stay in alignment, right? That's all it's called. Um, that's all that the divine is asking us to do. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Put yourself first. Stand in your integrity. Speak your truth. Um, fulfill your dreams and desires. You're, been, you're put on this earth literally to help other people. But at the same time, you deserve it too. Okay? You don't always got to keep putting out... And, and depleting yourself and doing and overdoing and overextending and not saving some for yourself. And this is all that the divine has been trying to get us to see. Like, chill, okay? You can have that and then some, all right? You don't have to overexert yourself and tire yourself out. The world is abundant. The universe is abundant. You understand? You got everything that you need right at your fingertips. All you got to do is just be in alignment okay especially with what it is that you desire and it comes to you things are coming full circle virgo all right so pat yourself on the back if you still kind of like struggling to get to that finish line honey keep your head up and your vibes high and trust the divine for what is getting ready to take place in your life even if you can't see it just know it is happening, all right? Especially if you are in what? Alignment. <laughs> all right, you guys. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.